Well, late last night, Donald Trump's Mar Largo home in Florida was raided by about 30 FBI agents. Now, they ransacked and seized his house and even opened up his safe, though they found nothing inside of it. But that said, thankfully, Donald Trump was not at his Mar Largo residence. Now, according to the FBI, the reason that they ransacked and invaded Donald Trump's home was because it was related to the alleged taking of potential classified information from Washington, D.C. from January 2021. Now, there is more to this story than mainstream media is detailing. In fact, the key is hidden behind what happened just prior to the FBI invading Trump's mar largo home. You see, the FBI over the past couple of weeks has been completely and utterly exposed and disgraced to the hilt. And not just the FBI, but also Joe Biden. Earlier this year, we found out that the FBI was was labeling parents as domestic extremists and terrorists. Any parent who stood against the vaccine mandates, the mask mandates, and of course, critical race theory to their school boards were immediately labeled as some kind of domestic threat. Now, not only that, but the whistleblowers continued to come out about the FBI and some of this misconduct that they were conducting. And just within the last month and a half or so, more information started to pour out. One of those being that they were purging conservatives from the FBI. FBI purging conservatives, criticals of the J6 narrative and whistleblowers tell GOP lawmakers. Now that was not the only corruption that they were involved in. In fact, they also ignored what was going on at the homes of the Supreme Court Justice. Garland allowing mob rule in U.S. for not prosecuting demonstrators at justices homes, Republicans say. It's a complete and utter breakdown of our FBI when they can't even obey the law and go prosecute people who are breaking the law. Instead, they're more worried about parents and more worried about purging conservatives from their rank. But that's not all. It also got discovered just within the last two weeks, two bombshell things the FBI were doing. The first here, Jim Jordan says whistleblower disclosures reveal scandalous push by FBI to pad domestic terrorist data. Now, why would they want to do that? Well, they want to explode the amount of domestic terrorists here in the U.S., you know, so they can start labeling and targeting them. In fact, it was also discovered via whistleblower that they were specifically labeling conservatives as militia, violent, domestic, violent extremists. Cons specifically conservatives. Take a look. FBI whistleblower, and this is on Project Veritas, leaks the Bureau's domestic terrorism symbols guide on militia violent extremism, citing Ashley Babbitt as a martyr. Here's the actual guide, and you can see right there the 2A with the gun underneath, uh, and it says an MV, MVE is just justifies their experience with the Second Amendment and with the mention of a well-trained militia and the right to bear arms. In other words, somehow, if you believe believe in the Second Amendment, you're part of the problem and an extremist. Also here, they said if you believe Ashley Babbitt is a martyr or Lavoy Finicum, then you, therefore, are a militia violent extremist. Now, why would the FBI want to do that? Well, that is the question that I believe is going to be answered in today's broadcast because it's made very, very clear. But before I get to that answer, I, I, I want to touch on one more thing, or one more thing, and that is that all this disgrace by the FBI, they are looking completely and utterly really bad. They are untrustworthy and they are looking to the public like, well, a partisan hack. Like they're political and they all work for the Democratic Party. They all work for the Democrats and are doing their bidding. America is taking notice. So the FBI, in my opinion, had to do something, but it wasn't just the FBI. You see, the FBI is also very in link with the executive office. You know, Joe Biden, who himself had major events break out this month about him and his administration, the first thing. And I touched on these all, uh, by the way, on RestrictedRepublic.com. Get to RestrictedRepublic.com. This is one of my latest videos you're going to want to see. But on there, I have been talking about all of this stuff 
in detail on Restricted Republic. Right now, you can get it for $3.99 per month. This is what I'm calling my, <laughs> we're in a recession. I'm giving to you fairly cheap. I'm making a little to nothing off of it for the entire first year. Use the coupon code FJB. Get to know what's really going on. You're going to have to sign up for Restricted Republic commercial free content as well on there. But with that, what on earth is going on with Joe Biden. You see, a few things came out about Joe Biden this past couple of weeks that you need to be aware of. You see, because Biden and the FBI desperately need a distraction. Take a look. This is on the Federalist.com exclusive. Report shows that Biden administration is run by former registered foreign agents. Now, I'm not going to expand on this because I already did, but this is the actual report here. And you can see who is one of those foreign agents at the top, Merrick Gardland, who has ties and foreign clients from everywhere from, well, the UK to Mexico. And the list goes on. This just came out about Biden. Of course, he doesn't want you to know, and neither does Merrick Garden, the Department of Justice AG, right? The one who's spearheading all of the crap that's going on with the FBI. Interesting. I'm sure he doesn't like that information getting out. Not only that, but there's one more report about Joe Biden that came out this week that is completely and utterly bombshell. They are desperate for a, retra a, a distraction, and they are desperate for, for even more than that. I'm going to get into that in a moment. I don't want to jump ahead. Here it is. This is the second thing. Dailymail.com exclusive. Vice President Joe Biden met with two Chinese energy executives in the West Wing. The 15th meeting with businessmen tied to his son company, who days later sent Hunter a fawning email offering to fix his $102,000 luxury electrical vehicle car. Two executives for Chinese Energy Company and the energy company is Wan Ziong secured a meeting with VP Joe Biden in the West Wing on July 2014, according to the White House visitor logs. A client of Hunter Biden's company, Seneca Global Advisors, partnered with Wan Ziong in 2012 on a $1.25 billion natural gas plant in China. For days after the meeting, one of the executives emailed Hunter offering to service his $102,000 sports car and inviting the VP's son for a visit. Bribery, bribery. Joe's meeting with the two Wan Ziang executive is one of 15 occasions. He met with businessmen closely linked to his son. <laughs> this is completely can completely obliterate Joe Biden's uh, presidency. You see, this is bribery. This, If true, this is bribery of the highest level. Blackmail could involve. This is a president who is in link with foreign lobbyists through his son. And mark my words, this isn't about Hunter Biden. This is not about Hunter Biden. This is about daddy Joe Biden, the big guy meeting with foreign adversaries, lobbying, lobbying and giving his son all these business deals. You don't do that unless there's some kind of kickback, blackmail or deal. So, so what happens? All of that is going on at once and then bang, we got to get their eyes focused on something else. We got to make a distraction. We got to make a plan, right? We got to have a plan, right? We have to do something to make the other side look really bad because they're bad, say the Democrats. Because if we don't make them look bad, we're screwed midterms and we're screwed later. So what do they do? They raid the home of Donald J. Trump, Fox News. Trump says mar -Largo home in Florida is under siege by FBI agents. Now, um, there is a three-fold purpose, a tri-fold purpose why the FBI did what they did. And I'm going to suggest the Biden administration to, even though they are avidly denying anything to do with this, I personally think that's a bunch of baloney. Uh, here we have Breitbart team. Biden claims no advanced knowledge of FBI raid on Donald Trump's house at mar -Logo. So while they are claiming, well, we didn't do anything, we didn't know, baloney, 
BS. I claim BS, but that's my opinion. But either way, I believe personally, my opinion, that Biden knew, despite what he's saying, and the FBI also, both of them did it to their benefit. And this is a tri-fold benefit. But before I get into that, I want to show you Trump's response uh, to the raid, because I also think that this is important. But this is what he said. He said, these are dark times for our nation, as my beautiful home, Mar Largo in, P in Palm Beach, Florida, is currently under siege, raided, and occupied by a large group of FBI agents. Nothing like this have ever happened to a president of the U.S. before. After working and cooperating with the relevant government agencies, this unannounced raid on my home was not necessary or appropriate. It was prosecutorial misconduct, the weaponization of the justice system, and an attack by radical left Dems who desperately don't want me to run for president in 2024, especially based on recent polls, and who will likely do anything to stop Republicans and conservatives in the upcoming midterm elections. Such an assault can only take place in broken third world countries. Sadly, America has now become one of these countries corrupt at a level not seen before. They even broke into my safe. What is the difference between this and Watergate, where operatives broke into the DNC? Here in reverse, Dems broke into the house of the 45th president of the U.S. The political persecution of Donald Trump has been going on for years with the now fully debunked Russia, Russia, Russia scam, impeachment hoax, hoax one and two, and so much more. It never ends. It is political targeting at the highest level. Clinton was allowed to delete an acid wash third Thirty-three emails after they were subpoenaed by Congress. Absolutely nothing happened to hold her accountable. She even took antique furniture and other items from the White House. Nothing, nothing to her. I stood up to Americans' bureaucratic corruption. I restored power to the people and truly delivered our country. We have never seen anything like this before. The establishment hated it. Now, as they watch my endorsement candidates win big victories and see my dominance at the poll, they are trying to stop me and the Republican. Republican Party. The lawless political persecution and witch, witch hunt must be exposed and stopped. And I say a big fat amen to that. So that was Donald Trump's response. And I think that's um, very important in light of what's going on. One other, one other thing is that's important is, is information on the judge. I'm going to throw this out there. New York Post judge who approved FBI raid on Mar Largo once linked to, you guessed it, Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, and by the way, his little black book hasn't led to not one persecution. Gee, I wonder why. Are a lot of them Democrats? You know, Bill Clinton, Gates, you know. Huh, interesting, but I digress. All right, so right now, the FBI is left looking like a political hack, like a political one-sided department who arrests and targets and go after one side, but completely ignores the other. So here's my tri-fold problem or tri-fold purpose of why they raided Donald Trump's home in mar -Lago. Number one, they purposefully did this as a distraction from both the FBI corruption and what is going on with Biden, specifically the ties that he has to these Chinese people when he was VP and all the crap going on with his son. So they needed a distraction. And might I say not a distraction necessarily for conservatives and Republicans, but a distraction for his side, for the liberals and Democrats, you know, stop reporting on all this stuff. And let's make it look like Trump is under arrest. Let's make it look like we've got Trump and so much stuff on Trump that they even allowed an FBI raid. Wink and a nod. That's number one. Again, I said trifold purpose. Number two, and this one is terrifying. I will be quite frank with you. Um, number two, um, the FBI, uh, I believe, um, did this because their domestic terrorist numbers who they've coincidentally again labeled as domestic terrorists are conservatives patriots trump supporters you know they keep telling us we're white supremacists and neo-nazis we're the ones that are constantly labeled on their documents in a roundabout way but they don't have numbers big enough to add up to the fact of why they're excessively after us and ignoring antifa and blm and the like so 
So if they don't start getting action from our side, getting our side to do some crazy stuff, like another January 6th or something to that effect, then they're absolute toast. And they know it. So they are absolutely desperate. And when I say desperate, desperate enough to invade and raid the home of, of, of President Donald J. Trump, they are desperate to try to incite Trump supporters to do something bad, to break out in violence and the whole nine yards. And you guys know I do not support violence. So they are using this FBI raid also as a bait. Here, 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 take it, take it. Now, now the good news is I believe it's going to blow up in their damn faces, right? I do believe that, but that's number two. Number three, they're attempting to prevent Donald Trump from returning to office, from returning to office. Take a look at this article here because I think this kind of um, touches up on it. Again, the FBI raid is reportedly uh, related to the alleged taking of potential classified information from Washington while he was in the White House there on January 2021. So here's the question. Could Trump actually be banned from office if he's convicted of taking these government documents uh, that the FBI claims or whatever? But here's what it says. Former President Donald Trump would not necessarily be disqualified from office if he was convicted of taking Taking government documents despite a statute that says so, several legal experts say. The experts are taking a closer look at the law, Section 2071 of Title 18 of the U.S. State Code, following a raid on Trump's Mar Largo home in Palm Beach, Florida on Monday. Unnamed sources told several, including CNN, WAPO, the FBI, was investigating whether Trump took documents, some of them reportedly top secret to his residence. In January, Trump returned, returned, by the way, 15 boxes of documents to the government that he had taken with him when he left the White House. The New York Times notes some of the material was classified. Notice he didn't acid watch, wash them like Hillary Clinton. He returned them, but I digress. Section 2071 says anyone who willfully and unlawfully conceals, removes, mutilates, obliterates, falsifies, or destroys government documents is guilty of a crime carrying a penalty of up to three years in prison. In addition, anyone who violates the law shall forfeit his office to be disqualified from holding any office under the U.S. But there's a problem with that law. You see, it violates the Constitution. But the law cannot override the Constitution, which provides the qualifications for president, according to experts. That's the bottom line. The Constitution supersedes the law. Therefore, even if he was found convicted, many believe, I believe, he could still run for office. Okay? So those are the three things the three things the Democrats, personally, my opinion, invaded mar lago for. Again, a distraction to explode their domestic extremist numbers, make conservatives look bad, try to use it as bait so conservatives act out like January 6th. And third, to attempt to keep President Trump from running for office again. But I believe this entire thing is going to blow up in their damn faces. <laughs> I honestly do. First of all, there are many calls right now to investigate the FBI, and they better follow through with this once we get them in uh, the House and Senate here. Here's Kevin McCarthy. A.G. Garland, preserve your documents. I've seen enough. The DOJ has reached an intolerable state of weaponized politicization, and they absolutely have. We're going to take back the House, right? And he says, when we do, uh, preserve your talk documents, because basically we are going to investigate immediately, form an oversight of this department, and thank God that that's the case and they better damn well do it. Excuse my French, but I'm really upset. Also, many Republicans, uh, I believe Lauren Boebert and many others are now calling for the straight up disbanding or uh, firing or dissolving of the FBI, something I have been begging for for well over a year. They need to be disbanded. And personally, I think that when we take back the House and Senate, that that is absolutely going to happen. If not, 
our Republicans are going to have some explaining to do, but it needs to be disbanded. And I think it's going to slap them in the face, not only in that direction, but also I think this is going to ignite a lot of people to vote more for Trump. Some of those people who kept saying, I don't know, Trump's the enemy, he's the bad guy. I think they're just going to come around because they're going to see who they are attacking and attacking hardcore. I think this is going to wake up a huge portion of America and make their poll numbers slide because more people are starting to see the FBI as some kind of Stasi force rather than protecting what they were actually originated. And here's just some of the latest Republicans upset about what's going on. And I'm ticked off. This is some third world BS. Dan Bugino goes nuclear on Fox News after FBI raids Trump home. Breitbart Gorka blasts FBI raid on his home. They have declared war on 74 million Americans. Dershowitz. Trump raid improper. This is misconduct. And might I say misconduct to the Elmp degree. You see, the United States of America, our citizens are noticing a couple of things. Nothing was done to Hillary Clinton when she kept classified information on a private server, completely illegal, by the way, and then acid washed her 33 emails and not to mention took a, a hammer to her cell phones and broke all of those. Let's not focus on any of that. Let's just focus on documents that Donald Trump returned. Okay, not only that, but Hunter Biden is also walking free. He has business dealing with international foreigners that we found out his father has dealings with as well, you know, because the, they, he had, they had media with Joe Biden. You know, hey, fix my car. You can have a meeting with my dad. Blackmail, um, hmm, bribery, all of these things are illegal, especially when you're the president of the United States. But hey, let's not pay attention to that. And maybe his minor stuff, his gun, his gun uh, illegalities with the gun, and not only his gun, oh, but also how about the illegal drugs? Well, let's just turn the other way. How about Andrew Cuomo, the whole nursing home scandal? Let's just look the other way and not persecute or say anything. Andrew Comey, uh, the, the, Comey, McCabe, all of these who lied to Congress. Loretta Lynch lied to Congress. Nothing, 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 nothing. Joe Biden meeting with Communist Party linked executives at the White House, which is the one that just broke. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. While the American people are on to you. And I think this whole thing is literally going to blow up in your face because people now know that they know that they know that the FBI has been politicized and weaponized by the Biden administration, it is evidently clear. Anyhow, with that, please don't forget to check out my partner, gettheteacom backslash Lisa. Right now, he's got some amazing specials on there. You can see the super tea. I've got the coral C here. Uh, this is a really good um, vitamin C and it supports your immune system. But if you really wanna kick things in gear, make sure you get the package with the super tea. Again, that has literally changed my life. But go to gettheteacom forward slash slash Lisa. So get the t.com, excuse me, forward slash Lisa. I may have sent, said backlash earlier, but go there, get this special. And on top of it all, when you add it to your cart or anything on there to your cart, and there's double specials there, uh, then you can get free shipping by using the coupon code Lisa. Anyhow, uh, anyhow, thanks again, tuning in. I love all of you. I'm Lisa Haven signing out.